I love when you wanna waste time Hit my phone when you wanna come by Need you alone in my bed all night Hey guys, it's Salida. Welcome back to another video of my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created a scene look makeup look. And I'm going to take you step for step. Let's get into it. The first step of this clean look makeup video. You're going to need something to pull your hair back so that your hair doesn't go into the makeup. Okay, next tip is I'm going to show you every product that I use to get this clean girl makeup look. These are the brushes I will use. I'll use this little angle brush. This very fluffy... <laughs> that one broke. And then just this fluffy brush that I got like from ages ago. This is all the brushes you'll need. Just saying it doesn't have to be exact same products. I'm just showing you exactly what I used. First is the thing that is going to bring this makeup look together is my concealer. I use a Pro Conceal Concealer by LA Girl. It's just such a good concealer, especially if you're young like me. It's a good concealer and yeah, it's really cheap. And most of my stuff is cheap because I don't like spending a lot of money on makeup. So my makeup, I just try to keep really basic. Then we'll also be using using a contour stick just hear me out it's not gonna look as bad as you think it will and i use the passion labs one the next product i'll be using guys just by the way this is not in order i'm gonna be using this highlighter and this blush from essence i absolutely love essence they're like really good especially when you have a young skin and when you're young it's not too harsh and, and yeah essence is my go-to place for like anything i even have then their concealers but it's not my shade and it's a bit more expensive than the concealer i now have and it's for me better next up i'm gonna use um, eyebrow gel the wet and wild mega clear brow and lash gel i just like this for my love brows i'm going to get into just you then you're going to be needing just a little bit of red lipstick any type of red lipstick trust me on this one just trust me okay any red lipstick you want next up we'll be using an eyelash curler and a mascara this is the mascara by maybelline it's the sky high one i really love this this is really good for length and a clean girl look then you're just going to be using a damp beauty sponge okay now let's actually get into the makeup part of this video first step is you have to go wet your sponge so i kind of want to tell my story before we start i'm so sorry i like postponing this whole thing but i I basically i think i was 10 and i really liked doing makeup it was just fun for me and i never actually used it out of the house and then when i was 11 the year i turned 11 people would keep asking me why are you wearing makeup you're so young why are you wearing makeup that's like it just made me really insecure and then every time i do my makeup right before i went to people i go like this with my eyelashes my eyelashes go down so that it doesn't look like i have makeup on and i wipe my face like this so that you can't really see that i have makeup on which was really bad because you can wear if you want to wear makeup wear makeup don't let anyone stop you just make sure you have your parents permission but this is a makeup look my girlies at that just felt like me and wanted a make routine that didn't look like too much but also made me feel like i was alive and i wish i had this video when i first started doing my makeup so i'm here putting this out for you girlies that are just starting and even girls that are like 18 and up you can even do this okay let's actually get into the makeup part now i forgot a step you'll also be using a primer but i'm gonna go in with this primer i have it from essence it's the face primer with Karen hemp seed oil so also make sure that you done your skincare before if you don't have skincare that's fine make sure you have primer but if you do have a skincare routine do it before your makeup so that makeup lays nice i did my skincare routine right before this video but first you'll be going in with some concealer i already showed you the concealer that i use so this is a big part of the makeup routine because this is the part where i always struggle because i wanted a lifted look without using like harsh contour and harsh bronzers so what you're going to be doing is place it in these exact placements right if i look at that that's where my mirror is place it right under the eye and then you're going to place it here up Okay, so make sure it's a lifted. So this is how you get your face to look lifted without using any bronzer and that type of stuff. Okay, so just do the exact same thing on the other eye. Like that. And then just put some on your forehead. And then two down here. Like that. So this is one of the most important parts. Make sure you dab everything upwards. So rather than dabbing like this or like that, dab upwards. So with this part, I'm just going to go up. And do the same with this, just go upwards. Also take it a bit down to your cheek because otherwise it's gonna look too... 
right there. Okay, I'm just gonna do this with the other arm, then I'll be right back. Okay, I hope you can see the difference right now. It's just like more lifted. Okay, so then it looks like this. You just mix in these also upwards if you want, just to give it more of a lifted. These don't really care. It was just around the eyes that really cared. Next thing we're gonna be using is my eyebrow gel. What you're gonna do with the eyebrow gel is really specific. So you're gonna take it upwards, but rather making it look like this like so up gonna go upwards but also horizontal it gives it just more of a natural look and then make sure to make the tails also good i wore this exact makeup look to a party last night and somebody asked me if i was wearing makeup so you're gonna take a clear on make sure if you buy a brow job that it's clear on and what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna only use the tiniest little bit to make your face look more toned out you're gonna take it you're gonna use the angle brush that i was talking about and you're just gonna put it on the angle brush and just do it really lightly around your cheekbones so that it gives it just more of a tanned look and you don't look like a pale ghost you're done doing that you just put it down and you're not gonna be using this again okay so this is the base and we're not gonna put any powder on i usually would put a lot of powder on just to make my face not look creamy but honestly i just like it without the powder because it doesn't make me look dry i used to put on the powder it would make me look really dry and just like sahara desert right here now we're gonna go on the next part is blush so yes we'll be using this for blush the first thing that we're gonna be doing is taking the lipstick and putting it on your finger a little bit just like that and then putting it three dots right there and then on the other side as well trying to make it really even and a little bit on your nose like that you're gonna take your beauty blender and you're just gonna upward remember this is upward but you have to kind of mix that in your skin right there it is a lipstick so like that okay so now that you have that on you're gonna go in with the powder blush so basically you could also use a cream blush but i just use lipstick because it's cheap and it's easy okay so don't be too intimidated because it might look really crazy when you first put it on it might look like ugh. it'll tone down a bit even when it toned down you're gonna have to add a little bit more if that's not your liking and i sometimes do that but so yeah we're done with the blush section next section is we're going to be using a highlighter this is the essence highlighter i was talking about and we're just gonna use our pinky finger dab it on like that and just put it on my nose so i used to put it on my nose and then like up my nose but i'm just putting it on my nose right now and then just on the sides so i'll explain why right now and then if you want you can add a little bit in the middle but that also for me shows that you have makeup on that's why i usually don't put it in the middle if you want a clean girl look i usually don't put it in the middle so highlighter just makes your face look really like up and alive and stuff like that so i used to put like there and then there and just like mix it in but that would look like terrible for me i'm only putting it on the top because then you see it just gives that little glow and on the sides because in your face just looks like so much you can even add more if you want all these things are just to give you like a base and if you want to follow this tutorial exactly like do it but you can also just use this of kind of like a base and you can add your own stuff in it if you want to <laughs> let's go on this is my favorite part next step is the mascara i absolutely love mascara it just makes your face look so much like you can even just put mascara and it just makes your face so much alive but first you're going to take your I can't remember your <laughs> eyelash curler and you're gonna curl it six times like that and then you go one two three four five six and then you're gonna hold it for five seconds you can see that lifted look and then you're gonna do the same with the other so then you can see both are really this one is my bad eye that's why it looks like that i don't have too much glasses on this side but this is my lashes look. obviously my mascara routine differs if you look good after your lashes or whatever they're just gonna take some make sure to go like this so it doesn't get any clumps and then just put on the tips for right now i'm just gonna show you like on the tips like that just on the tips let me show you this eye because this one's worse so just on the tips well, there I did, didn't go just on the tips. So you go from up to down and then go a bit like that. Okay, now I'm going to do it the other side. Then you go in from the bottom. 
Okay, that is my eyelashes. Look how lifted and good they look. Look how long they look as well. And then I'm just gonna go also in my bottom lashes. This is really optional. Like, sorry, my camera went off. So I just sometimes just go like this because I don't want too much on. And then I'm just once on the bottom because you don't want the bottom to look too cakey but if you want to make sure like really it doesn't look like you have any mascara on then don't do the bottom lashes and that is that then the last step you'll be using is you could use lip gloss that's a really good one but i don't have lip gloss right now so i'm just gonna put on some lip balm this is a lip balm by al care aloe it's a vanilla one so that is the makeup routine all right let's go take this off brush your hair out this is the finished clean makeup look tutorial it looks like this and yeah i absolutely love it it's just so clean it just looks so natural and yeah if you guys like this video give it a like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video just like this one and if you watch to the end of the video comment the bubble emoji i feel like that's a really good emoji and remember to love yourself and your body just the way you are and it is have a wonderful day weekend dear i love you guys so so much Bye! I love when you wanna waste time